Somebody please give me a mic right now. All right. I want nothing more than to stop doing this right now, okay? Just cut the music, all right? I want to get to the point right now. I'm still flustered and frustrated about the fact that I lost my title at SummerSlam that I rightfully deserve by beating Landon at SummerSlam. And brave enough to walk over down to the ramp, hit me from behind, cash in his money man contract, and calls himself a champion. And oh yes, I am still frustrated about that because I still haven't gotten my own championship shot. And ever since then, I've been frustrated with myself and I've never been more mad until now. So I don't want to waste any time here until right here, right now. Because I want Brayden to come down here to the red right now and face me like a man. Because I want my title shot right now. Come on. Oh boy, here we go. Ray Super Ray. Jack Jr. is not winning any longer for a fight like this. Yeah, well you got that right. But the real question is, is Brayden even here tonight? Man. It's not Brandon, but it could be his brother. Wait, is he really here? He's here. Landon Eden is here. NSLW. My goodness, what a sight to see. It's the yeah. former SLW champion, the CEO and owner, Landon. He's here tonight, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. You see, Jeffy Jr come out here and we're still butthurt over what happened still butthurt over what happened in Stomach Slam see last week I asked you to come out here because I admitted I need your help against my brother and as much as I would love to fight him by myself. I know that he is going to have the bloodline with him and he is not going to give me a fair shake in my rematch. See, I was champion for 90 days. Exactly three months. The longest reign in history. And that got stripped away from me. And you know what? I'll admit it. I was happy that Jeffy Jr. finally earned the title, that he beat me. I was glad that at least he was the one that beat me. But no, my brother had to come out there and embarrass Jeffy Jr. And embarrass my company. He wants to talk to a promo from his house. Brady, you have to show your face here since. You know what, Jeffy Jr., I'm going to say it right now in front of her. If this is what you want to hear, I'm sorry. Sorry that I turned on you at 20 minutes. I'm sorry that because of me, you lost the championship that you earned. I'm sorry for everything we've been through in the last six months. That we were here. There you go. No. Look, I'm sorry, you probably think that's unfair, but I mean, just look at this, I mean... Landon, what makes you think I should accept your apology? After every single thing you have done, these past few months have been a complete nightmare for me. Let's take it back straight to Toy Mania 2. I was cashing in my money in the bank, and you had to ruin that opportunity for me. It was official. Fighting Houston one-on-one -on -one had my opportunity to win the championship. But you had to turn on me the same night. And now, from payback to SummerSlam to whatever pay-per-view that me and you fought, 
You really think that I should forgive you? I think you know one thing clearly, Landon, is that every single time me and you fought, it was always your bloodline that got in the way of everything. And that's why you kept on winning. That's why your title was so historical. Talk about payback, right? I was fighting you. Brayden got in the way. Betrayed me. Put me through a table. You hit me with whatever you did. And you retained the title. Let's think about at SLW. When I was fighting you, we were trying to pick the stipulation, right? For our SummerSlam match. Cole Quinn, Baron Blade, all those people had to go after me, giving you the victory. There was nobody who ever stopped you. If it wasn't for your bloodline terrorizing me during my whole entire time here in SLW, everything would have been fine if it wasn't for you ruining that for me. Heck, I don't even know where Mr. Bones is anymore, okay? You ruined him, you took him out of action for how many months, and he still have not seen the light of day. You ruined everything for me. So what makes you think that I should accept an apology from somebody like you? I was not asking to be in the match. I was not asking to observe the match. I was never asking to be the special guest referee, okay? I want to be in your guys' match. I never asked to be the special guest referee. I never asked to spectate your guys' match. I want to be in a triple threat match, Brayden, you, and me for the SLW 24-7 Championship. Hey, listen. I tried to be nice. It's not my fault. You're greedy. You're selfish. You know what? I was thinking. Back at War Games, we were still the tag team champions. Yeah, you beat me, thanks to Brayden. I had to sacrifice the tag team titles. You know what? You are still the tag team champions. So you want a title match so bad? And how do you have it? You are going to defend the tag team titles with your little buddy, Super Mario Pro. And how do you have it? It's going to be the SJJ and SMP Kingdom versus the Bloodline, the Tanner Bros, Houston, and Nathan. Lent, you cannot just... Uh, you You can't just do that, Lenny. You cannot just let me get me to defend... D I mean, sure, it's... I mean, I guess you're not wrong. I mean, we have... I, I have not really defended the tag team titles ever since I won it at War Games. And Super Mario Pro, he hasn't had really a match here in SLW. I mean, this could be his debut match here in Halloween Havoc. I mean... Well, forget that. SLW Universe. Do you want to see the SMP and SJJ Kingdom go up against the Tanner Bros at Halloween Havoc? Well, that tells me something. Man. I have no choice but to accept the challenge because I listen to them and not to you. But I am still having a problem with this little 
thing where I have to be the special guest referee for your guys' match. It doesn't make sense. And it's not fair at all. Figure something out, because I'm not going to be the special guest referee. I'm not going to observe your guys' match. Whoa, 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 Jeffy Jr. You didn't even let me finish. You didn't even get to hear the best part. The icing on the cake. It's not just going to be a normal tag team match. No, no, no. This is Halloween Havoc. We've got to add some Havoc, Jeffy Jr. So, at Halloween Havoc, it's going to be the Tenebros with the SJJ and SMP Kingdom in a fall count anywhere extreme world match. <laughs> yes. I like how this is going. I like how this is going. You want to put us Falls County with the Tan Bros for the SLW Tag Team Titles. I see, I see. I like how this is moving. I like how this is going to come and how we have it. But that still does not change the fact that I got to be the special guest referee for your guys' match at Halloween Havoc. Because I've waited for so long to get my shot at the SLW 24-7 title. And now, with this moment being, if you just make this a triple threat match, Landon, you are giving me an opportunity to become SLW 24-7 champion again. And finally getting my shot and not losing it out of nowhere by Blade. I'm not trying to get my hands on you right now. I am more focused on Braden. So just please, Landon, I beg of you to just please give me the opportunity to have this be a triple threat match, being the main event at Halloween Havoc. Braden versus you versus me for the SLW 24 7 championship. Just please, just please, let this happen, man. I know the people want it. I know that I want it. But man, I can't make it happen unless it's up to you. So please, let this happen. Okay. I will make you a deal. If you can retain the tag team titles on Halloween Havoc, it will be Landon versus Braden versus Super Jeffy Jr. and a Super Threat Match the SLW 2470 Championship. But if you lose, I get my hands all to myself for Braden. You know what? This is what you want. You got it. The odds are stacked against you. But the ball is in your court. You know what? I'll see you from Braden at Halloween Hunter. Yes, that's yes, perfect. Thank you. Finally, finally, yes. We can get what we all want for you. Everybody here can finally get what we want. And I can finally thank you for something. And I thank you truly for this. And I understand. And listen, if I lose the tag titles at Halloween Havoc, I'll walk off fine. No bad blood between the rules and the stipulations. I will be a normal referee. But let me tell you one thing, Andy. If you or your brother get in my way as the special guest referee at Halloween Havoc, don't think that I will take all this lightly. If you want to pick a fight with me as a special guest referee, I'm not going to throw a disqualification at you. No, no, no. Because that's not how I roll as your special guest referee. If you want to pick a bone with me, then I 
will return the favor and you will have to take what you gave to me. But I don't want you thinking that you're off the hook just yet. I just got my title to get back that I never ever lost. Jeffrey Jr., one thing I can tell you is that I can wish you luck because I've fucked Tanabro's multiple times. You shouldn't take this lightly. You shouldn't think that you can just get off real easy. So Jeffrey Jr., I wish you the best of luck on how you handle it. Wait a minute, what the? Oh my God! Houston, from out of nowhere, just hit Gunning with a baseball bat. Continuing to punish Logan. But wait a minute, what, the, what is Jeffy Jr. doing? That, that's your partner for crying out loud. What? Go save him. What are you doing? No! No! 